In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the three zaps. Actually, in this video, we're just going to create the one zap for sending an SMS from Podio through Twilio. And in the other two videos that you'll see underneath this one, we'll send an SMS by update. And also, we get the SMS response back from the seller or the recipient of the original text message. So in this one, let's create a zap. So make a zap button up here. This will load the zap interface, where we will start by selecting the trigger, which is right here. So we'll choose the app. In this case, we'll select Podio. If you don't see it here, you can type Podio in here, and then it'll find it. Because I'm here, we're going to trigger this from Podio, from the SMS app that we created, and then pass the information on to Twilio to send the text message. So here we want to select a new action and do save and continue. Now we have to pick the Podio account. If you don't have an account already you just collect, select connect an account and then it'll take the Podio account that you're currently logged into. If you're not logged into it, it'll ask you to log into your Podio account and then you will allow Zapier to connect to your Podio account. We can do this by saying connect an account. We'll have this window pop up and here we can log into your Podio account. I have many so let's pick one. We'll say this Podio account and we'll sign in. We'll grant access. And this will show up down here and we can rename it. We're not going to use this one because it's not pointing to the right, my right Podio account that I want to use. So we are going to use this one. We can test this out. Success. Now save and continue. As you can see over here, we're going down those steps and each step is being updated with what we've selected. Now we have to set up the options. So we have to pick the organization from the Podio account that we selected. So it takes struggling investor. Now within that organization we need to pick a workspace. In this case we're going to select wholesaling. You can select whatever workspace you have set up and what you called it. The application or the app in your workspace. We've set up this SMS app. So wherever you set up the SMS app that we created in a previous step, select that. And now since this is going to be a create action, meaning that we're getting we're triggering this zap based off the creation of a new item in this SMS app, we don't need to select the field here. So we can leave that blank. But we do need to select the action type of item create. So we'll continue here. Now this is where it gets a little, you can get a little unsure about this part. So now connect to Podio so that Zapier will get notified about your new action. What this is telling you is that we have to go to Podio. Log into the account that we are using for Zapier. Now we are in the right Podio account. We'll go down to Struggling Investor Organization, Wholesaling Workspace. Now the SMS app. Okay, so basically what this is asking me to do is create a new item in Podio and the SMS app. So it can detect it and then fill in some test data. So now we'll connect and continue. So now it's waiting. This is waiting for a new item to be created. So we'll come over here, add message, new message, or send a phone number. This is a test message. And then we'll save.
So now Podio should pick this, or Zapier should pick this up, and it did. Test successful. Now we'll continue. Next. So that's the first part. So now we have a new action created in Podio, listening for when we create a new item or new message to send, and then it will send it. We'll, now we'll set up the process for sending it. So we have to pick Twilio. So we go search for Twilio, select Twilio. Now, next option is to select send an SMS. And we have to pick the Twilio account. It's the same as, it's a little different than uh, Podio because we have to add some things. So let's connect an account. Pull this in here. What we need here to connect the Twilio account is your account SID and your authorization token. We get this by going back to Twilio. So, so we go to your Twilio dashboard, settings, come down here to live credentials. So we have also have these test credentials that we could have used if we were on the trial version. So we go into the live credentials. Select the SS, the SID, we'll copy that, come over to Zapier Twilio setup, paste that in here, and we have to go back to Twilio and grab the authorization token. So we can click to view it. And we'll copy this. Paste that here, and then yes and continue. Now it's very important that you keep these two, your SID and your authorization token private because if someone else gets it, then they can use your account to send mess SMSs and then you'll be charged and they can quickly deplete your account or cost you a lot of money. So keep these private. So we have a Twilio account set up and now we can select, well, I'm going to rename this to tutorial so I don't mess so I don't get it confused with my other account. So let's save and continue. All right, now we have to set up the information we are sending from Podio to Twilio. And to do that, we have to align the field. So, the, so in the from number, we're gonna set, use the Twilio number that we purchased. So we'll hit this down arrow and it should pull out info, that number from Twilio because you've connected the account. So that's the number. Now we have to use the alphanumeric sender ID, which we don't need one because it's optional. So we're gonna leave that blank. Then the two number. This is the number that we put into the Podio SMS app right here, this two number. So whatever we enter here is what is gonna be passed through to Twilio. So we can't just type that in, we need, a f we need to pull the Podio field token. So we click this. Now do a search, we'll do two. And then we look for field two value right here. Select that. Now this is set. Every time we, whatever's in that field that we're, we've initiated this zap, will get pulled into here and that's the number it'll be sent to. Now the message, same thing. Search for message, we're gonna take the Podio field message value, field message value. Hit that in there. Now, media arrow, we don't need that. Send large messages. No, because these are going to be short text messages. Large message will send up 1,600 characters. Plenty, right? So now we'll continue. Now we can send a test message. So we can send a test message to 973-910-1001, which is my Google Voice number. So let's... Move into here, voice.google. Go to text messages. And then go back to uh, Zapier. 
We'll send test to Twilio. We're going to send this as a test message. Nope, we have an error. If we had trouble sending your test through, please try again. Bear request and said the two number is not valid. See, that's interesting. So that tells me I forgot something, and we're going to go back and fix this right now. So we have to go back to Edit Template. And in the two number field, Twilio is always expecting a one and then the area code and the rest of the number. And in Podio, we're not requiring the one and you should not put one in there. But in Zapier, we should add that in. So basically, what we have to do is just add a one in front here, hard code the one, and then it'll concatenate, add on the rest of the phone number. Okay, that's set. We continue. And then we will now send the test message again. Text has been sent. We will move over to Google Voice. And it's just now. This test, this is a test. So this is the test message that we sent. And this is what we got from my Google Voice phone number. And you can see it was from the phone number that we created from Twilio. Okay, we're good. So now we finish. So now we have a working zap that will send a text message based on us adding a new message to the SMS app. We're not quite finished because we want to update some fields here. We want to update the last message sent, the message log, and also the action, and then remove the message from here. To do that, we have to add step. Okay, but before we add the update item that we're going to update Podio with, we have to do some formatting of a date because we want to format a date. This is kind of step. I'm getting ahead of myself by doing this step because it's a little out of order in the explanation, but you'll see how it fits in later on. So we're going to add a step, and we're going to call this the formatter. We're going to look for form matter by Zapier. Zapier has this tool that allows you to format some data to a way that you need it in order to put it into just to put it into the format you want specifically dates and that sort of thing. In this case we are going to be formatting a date because we want to get the date back from when we sent the SMS message so we can update the log file. So now we select the date and time, we'll save now we have to update the template. So we're going to select format. It'll give us our options. Now the input will be the SMS from Twilio, number two. And we're going to find the date created. So we want to format this date to something that Podio can handle. But to make this easy, we're just going to, to do this, they don't have the option for what Podio needs. So we have to select Use Custom Value. So then it opens up another box here. And what we want to select is, type in is month, month, dash, day, day, dash, year, 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 year. So that's two day, two digit month, two digit year, four digit, two digit day, four digit year. Now we need the uh, time. One, hours. Minutes are lowercase m, and so are seconds. And then that should be it. Okay, we can format for the time zone if we like. Let's select the US or America. In my case, it would be America. And New York or East Coast somewhere. We're getting there. So, that, so now we format the text, the date to this value. And we'll be using that to update Podio. So we've got this date. We can send test to formatter and it should pop out the correct date. And here's the date that we'll get 
from the date created. It's on a 24 hour clock, not 12 hour. So next we're going to add another step, which will be the updating of Podio. So let's find, okay, we're adding another step, find Podio, update item. Select the Podio account. You can test it if you like. You don't need to because you know it works. And now we have to select the organization again, the workspace, and the SMS app. So now we have the item to be updated. We don't know what it is right now because it's not going to be always the same item, so we have to do a custom value. Okay, this custom item we're going to use, we're going to find the item ID from the original Podio item number one that sent, that triggered the app, triggered the zap. So we'll select this and select number one. We'll bring up all the fields and we want to select item ID. This number after it is just the item ID that was from the test data that we sent to Zapier when we first set up the Podio application. So now two, these are the fields we're going to update that belong to this record, this item. So the two, if we leave it blank, it's not going to keep the data there, it'll erase it, so we have to put in the original phone number. Best way to find this is just type in two. Because we have the field two value. So we're using there. Message. We just do enter new message. It will remove the message that's there currently. The action. We want to change that to listening because we'll be waiting for a response from the person we sent the text message to. Text last message. This is going to be a little involved because there's some formatting here that I like that I want to share with you. So basically, I'm going to paste this in here for my example. And it's going to say, you, a message from you. This is just code HTML to highlight this in to make the U a light blue color and then also make it italic it will make the rest will make the uh, time italic so we have to close the bracket there and in this spot right here we have to select the uh, the date that we created in the previous action step number three. So we'll do date created. So now this is formatted in the way we want it. And after the span, we'll put a colon in there. And then we'll select the message that was sent from Twilio. So take Twilio and the body, we'll use this. And now we have the message. Now in the message log, since this is going to be the first message we pull in, we're just going to create the same thing. So we can highlight this, copy it, paste this down here. And it automatically brings in the field tokens, unlike Globiflow, if you've ever tried to paste something into Globiflow. So now that's it. So we can continue. Now we can send test. So the test will update here. So you can see we already did this, but let's remove here and remove this. Sorry, I have another, my other test, I forgot to turn it off and it's actually running this and sending a text message. So we'll send test to Podio. So this is gonna send this updated information to Podio. So there we go. It updated this to send you sent a message at this time. 
and this was the message. We can format this a little differently. I forgot to put in some uh, brackets. So we'll scroll down. We clicked Edit Template. We scroll back down, and I want to put brackets around here. So we have round bracket, and round bracket, round bracket there, and one here. So we'll continue. We can retest this. Send the test. Look back here. Now we can, okay, it looks a little bit better. Breaks it up. So we have the brackets there. So that's the first step, the first zap where we're sending a text when we create an item. So let's finish this. Call this send SMS new item. And now we have to turn this on. And this is basically saving it. Okay, now that we have that first zap set up to send an SMS on a new message on a new item. Let's just uh, demonstrate that and show you so we can incrementally see how this is working and coming together. So we have the, the zap set up. So we'll add a new message. We're going to send it to my, my uh, Google Voice number. 973-910-101. Hello from my tutorial. And now if we hit save message, this should trigger the zap, send a text message to my Google Voice number. And then also you'll see the update here. So let's hit save, wait for a minute. Oh, it went quicker than I thought. See, now you have last message was updated, saying that you sent the last message and not to receive the last message. And then we have the message log. So let's check my Google Voice. And here's the text. Hello from tutorial. Next, we will create a zap that will handle the reply from the from the recipient. And that reply will come back and be updated in this message log and the last message. And you'll see that in the next video. Thank you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.